It's time to derive that cute formula that relates energy, mass, and momentum, which I like to think of as the energy, mass, momentum triangle. Now, we're going to do that in just a second, but I want to focus on the four momentum, which has this form, and this is our regular spatial moment uh, that we're familiar with but it's relativistic because the gamma is there. But what is this thing here, this mc with the gamma? Well, the mc with the gamma, we know that the energy is mc squared times the gamma. We've already seen that. So gamma mc is energy divided by c. So that means that the zeroth component of the four vector, like before we had time and then we had space, here we have energy and there we have regular momentum. That is cool. Very, very elegant result that you get a four vector with momentum where the time slot or that zero slot, which would be the time slot or analogous to the time slot, is the energy. So here is the comparison. Here's the four vector of space time, time and space, and the four vector we could say of energy and momentum here. This is the four vector of velocity where you basically have a velocity in three dimensions here and then you have the velocity in the time dimension. When you hit that with the mass then you have your four momentum which gives you an energy part and a regular momentum part. Now when the P vector, three vector, is zero, no velocity in x, y, and z direction, then the four energy momentum vector simply has the energy component here. And the energy component would be mc squared, since we're at rest, and that means we'll have mc, and if you want it the length, squared would be m squared c squared, which we saw earlier. Now let's look at this and work it out in this form. This would be e squared over c squared minus p squared, where this is the result of the x, y, and z momenta, and that equals the m squared c squared. Now, if we multiply through by c squared, we get e squared minus p squared squared c squared is equal to m squared c to the fourth, and then by bringing the p squared c squared to the other side, we have a cute right triangle that gives us a neat representation and visualization of this formula. E is the hypotenuse, mc squared, your rest energy is here, and pc is on the vertical. So using the Pythagorean theorem, you square this thing, m squared c to the fourth, and you square this, p squared, squared c squared, add them together, you get the e squared. And think of this angle as a measure of your velocity. If your theta should collapse down to here, then there's no spatial momentum, and you have e equals mc squared see the rest energy. And then as theta gets larger and larger, you get to the point where if it's pointing straight up at 90 degrees, then this mc squared basically vanishes. This is wild. The energy then is pc, and that is what's true for light. And we say that the light has no rest mass. A lot of good physics in that triangle.